Last night, I was watching TV and the doorbell rang. I went out there and there was this woman had a bottle of whiskey. Now, she was standing six feet from the door, okay? So she was being responsible with this virus thing, you know? And I looked at her. I didn't know her, but I looked at her. I said, all right. Let's get on with the get on because I know how this goes. Every time somebody shows up unannounced with a bottle of whiskey, they've got an Excel question. What is your question? She was silent, but her eyes over her mask told me she had been outed. And she says, well, actually, I saw your video on custom data types and I need to know more. I told her to leave the whiskey, go home and we'll set up a screen share session and I'll show her some more custom data types. Here's something I was playing around with. Can you put more than one custom data type into a data set? With this data, we have these students. Student D is Sam Rossi, email, phone, third year civil engineering student, is not on probation and is not a veteran. And we have over here the advisors. There's Dorinda's information, office hours, and the student IDs that are assigned to Dorinda and Gene. Let's create some custom data types. All right, let's go to data, queries and connections. I already have an advisor's query. Now we need to make a student's query. Cursor in the data set, right click. Get data from table slash range. So beautiful. Here, call the students. What I want to do with this one is add a full name column. Highlight here. Control key. Highlight. Add column. Column from examples. From selection. I'm going to type Canon, comma, Michelle. Enter. Now let's check it. Becker, comma, London, Otten, comma, Will. Yes. OK. I'm going to call this full name. Now, let's go to the other query. There's advisors. Need to split these students because that's what I want to match up. Highlight this column. Right click. Split column. By delimiter. Split it by a custom. I want comma space. Advanced options. Split into rows. OK, now here's something to watch out for. I could create data types for the advisor. And then create a data type for the students and then attempt to do a merge. But that won't work. And I'll show you why later. So right now we're going to do the merge and then create the data types. You got to know about these things, right? Because I watch out for you. All right, we're going home combine merge queries merge queries as new i want students up top advisors on the bottom match students and student id we want a left outer join okay let's we'll stretch this out a bit so we can see and then i'm going to close this let's check it out got to go to the end expand advisors I don't want to use that column as prefix. OK, now custom data types transform. I'm going to select full name. Now structured column, create data type. Advanced the display column. Yes, I want full name. I want to call this my students data type. What columns do I want in this data type? First name. 
hold down the control key, last name, email, phone, year, studies, probation, and if they're a veteran or not. Slide down. That's all of it. Add. And let's grab the ID. Add that. Okay. Stretch this out so we can look. There's our students custom data type. And every student except for Lida Murray is matched up with the right advisor, the office hours, everything. Now the advisor's data type. Create data type. Go to advanced. I don't want students in here. So I'm going to delete that. This is going to be the advisors. Okay. Next, put in the advisor, the advisor's email address. I don't need that student's column. I do want the office, office hours. Okay. I want to slide this column over. Now, let's load this file. Close and load. Now we have all of the information and it's not all hanging out. So if I wanted to look at Angelo Kidd, okay, there's Angelo's email address and Angelo is a civil engineering student in the third year and Angelo is not a veteran and Dorinda is Angelo's advisor who is in building G on the 19th floor. But there's something going on with Lida Murray. Let's go back to the original data. Check this out. I'm gonna unhide. We have Ganesh, who is another advisor who has student C, who is student C. You guessed it, Lida Murray. So I'm gonna slide this up here. And we have more students. Slide them up. Good. Go back. And data refresh. We got all these holes, but I know what happened. I'm going to go back to sheet one. Go over here. The table didn't absorb all of the data. I got to drag this down. There we go. Go back, merge, then refresh again. James LaRoche is not assigned to anybody. Go to sheet one. That's student Q. Let's assign him to Gene. Q, enter, go back, and refresh. And if I want to see who our veterans are, say vet. And it popped out automatically and look at the formula. It's already got the at students dot veteran. Wow. But what happens if we try to merge after doing the data types? Here's a data. Go to queries and connections. Go to students. Edit. We've got the student data type. Look at the advisors got the advisor's data type. Now I want to merge them. Merge queries as new. Let's leave the advisors up top and the students on the bottom. We don't have all those other columns available to us, but we do have the student ID and the students. Let's do a right outer join. Okay. Still got the advisor's data type. Let's click on this cell. We see the student data, some of it, and it's formatted as a table, not as a data type. Expand, okay. Now I've got the student data type, but the advisor's data type is gone. Now it's a record. What if we expand this? Okay, the advisor's is completely expanded, no longer a data type. So it was better to do the merge and then create the data types. Go ahead. Play with these data types and I'm warning you, start expecting strangers.
to show up at your home with whiskey in their hand. You'll know what's up.